another thing that we often feel entitled to is a certain standard of living. So I'm entitled to get the job that I think I should get. I'm entitled to get into the program that I want to get into. St. Paul is very clear about how our attitude should be one of contentment. He says, not that I speak from want, for I have learned to be content in whatever circumstances I'm in. I know how to get along with humble means, and I also know how to live in prosperity. In every circumstance, I've learned the secret of being filled and going hungry, both of having abundance and suffering need. We are not entitled to the possessions of others. Here often we see in its most extreme case, the communists who would take our possessions and say to us, we will take care of you and you will own nothing. In the Old Testament, we read, here is what I have seen to be good and fitting to eat, to drink, and enjoy oneself in all one's labor in which he toils under the sun during the few years of his life which God has given him, for this is his reward. In other words, we can buy things insofar as we have worked and we have made money. We are not entitled to sort of be given handouts by people not by the rich or by anyone else. We have to keep our own. We have to support ourselves. We have to get a job. And this often flies in the face of young people who think that even into their, their late teens and their 20s and, and even beyond that, it's their parents that have to provide for them. You know, the animals, take care of their young ones maybe for six months and then they have to fend for their own. We take care of our young ones for maybe 18 years, but not 35 years. If you are 35 years old, you should not be taken care of by your parents. You have to start giving and no longer being the one to be always receiving.